Hello all. In the group theory, elements are being placed in g-groups if they abide by certain rules. Similarly, molecules can be segregated into symmetry groups depending upon the symmetry elements present in those molecules. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about the symmetry elements of plane and the symmetry operation of reflection. Symmetric elements and operation. First, we will understand what is a symmetric operation. Symmetric operation is a movement which is being carried out on a body and after the operation has been carried out, the body is going to uh, be in an equivalent position or it can return back to the original position. We will understand this with a square. Uh, we have a square here with the edges marked with the numbers and if I carry out an uh, operation of 90 degree rotation, you can see that the square uh, returns back to the original shape of the square but still with the numbers on you can say that it is not the original position. So the resultant position is called an equivalent position because the shape is not being changed but still the positions of the edges has been changed. If I carry out this 90 degree rotation for again uh, three times in a row, uh, we will get a 360 degree rotation. And you can see that this square will return back to the original position or it is called as the identical position. The next concept is a symmetry element. A symmetry element is a geometrical identity about which with this operation has been carried out. Say for example, I am going to rotate this uh, rectangle with a line of axis using 180 degree rotation. With that line, you can see that 180 degree rotation will result in this equivalent configuration. This uh, operation is called uh, rotation whereas this line is called a symmetry element. So this is the geometrical identity about which this uh, flipping over is being done. So this is the symmetry element present. There are four different kinds of symmetry elements and uh, the symmetry operation of which we are going to discuss only the plane as well as the reflection alone now. Say for example if we consider this uh, simple molecule of uh, H2O Red one is the oxygen and white ones are the hydrogen uh, atoms. You can see there are two different planes. One is going to uh, just cut the, each of the molecule into two halves. So about this plane, you can see the left half, uh, the, this uh, one side is a mirror image of the other. The other one is this vertical plane. This vertical plane is uh, just uh, bisecting this hydrogen and this hydrogen. So this plane can be called as the uh, mirror plane which is going to reflect this molecule on the other side. So this is an example of uh, plane and reflection. Uh, the other uh, symmetry elements are, are center of inversion. About the center of inversion, you can flip this, uh, at this atom to the other edge and still the whole molecule will remain the same. Such a uh, point is called a center of inversion. You can similarly do this on this atom. You can pull this atom to the other uh, atom and still the whole, set, whole molecule will remain the same. This point is called a point of inversion. Other uh, two uh, symmetry elements are proper axis and improper axis. These are uh, rotations. The rotations followed by reflections called a, uh, improper axis uh, operation. The symmetric plane is uh, has to be defined now. Symmetric plane is a plane which is going to pass through the body and uh, it has to reflect the one side on the other and still the whole uh, molecule will uh, will be un unaffected. Let us uh, now denote the points by using Cartesian coordinates x, y and z. Uh, if I place a mirror plane, say for example this is the mirror plane or reflection plane here. If this molecule is uh, reflected using this mirror, you can get the image on the other, uh, uh, other uh, part of this uh, Cartesian coordinate uh, with the um, coordinates x, y and x, y and minus z. So this operation is called a reflection and this plane is called the uh, symmetric plane. The uh, symmetric plane is often denoted by sigma and uh, a continuous, uh, um, continuous action of reflection about this uh, plane is uh, denoted by using sigma power n. If I do it twice, it, you can write that as uh, sigma square. You can obviously see if I carry it once this uh, rotation, you will get an equivalent uh, configuration. Hb on the left and Ha on the right. If I carry out this twice, you will see that it will return back to the original shape. So when you carry out a reflection for uh, even times, 
when the power n is even you will get the identical shape identical configuration when n is odd you will get an equivalent configuration which is not identical 